Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Ashley and I'm a nurse educator and you are turning into our weekly application of In the Know where we make it simple. And here's our test question for this week. Please comment your response below and then play the video for the correct answer and rationale. So our question is, the nurse is caring for a patient one day post-op, so they've had an operation, having had a colectomy. The nurse assesses the following objective data. So here's our vital signs. Temperature is 39 degrees Celsius. Blood pressure is 90 over 38, Ooh, that's low. Heart rate is 118 beats per minute, and oxygen saturation is 90%, and the patient presents as lethargic. Which action should the nurse implement first? So this is a prioritization type question, and our options are A, insert a urinary catheter, B, draw blood cultures, C, call for a portable chest x-ray, and D, administer IV antibiotics. Let's go back to those vital signs. We have a temperature of 39. We have a blood pressure of 90 on 38. A heart rate of 118 beats per minute. Oxygen's going down, but importantly, the patient is lethargic. So all of these indicate infection. We know our patient is post-op and therefore at risk of infection, so that makes sense. So if you suspect that a patient has infection, um, specifically when you have a low blood pressure with an increased heart rate, that's really indicative of sepsis. So the correct answer and the very first thing we would want to do is B, draw blood cultures. And because you have to draw cultures on anything before you start IV antibiotics. So we will be administering IV antibiotics, but not before we draw blood cultures to get a positive diagnosis. Um, don't be the new graduate nurse who starts IV antibiotics before making sure whether or not a culture is needed. Um, really important that you're aware of that. So they do have signs and symptoms of sepsis. Blood culture should be drawn first prior to ever administering an antibiotic. Um, a, inserting a urinary catheter, and C, perhaps getting a chest x-ray. You might do that, but definitely isn't going to be pr your priority action. That would be drawing blood cultures. Also, this really gets at the fact of whether or not the nurse knows the signs and symptoms, um, symptoms of sepsis, right? Um, so for the answer to this question and more and for all concepts simplified for your registration exam, you can check out our complete study packages on our website. We guarantee you'll pass or your money back. Thank you so much for joining me this week on In the Know and I will see you next time.